What's going on guys? So we are out here at the property. Absolutely gorgeous evening. Sun's just about to start setting. And yeah, something pretty insane came in the mail today. Gotta show you what it is. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so what you are looking at in front of you is something that is pretty interesting. I say that because when this company, Varla, reached out to me and said, hey, we want you to do an evaluation on a product that we have, I'm like, okay, what is it, right? That's typically how I respond mentally, and I'm kind of thinking, you know, is this going to be the traditional e-bike or the traditional this or that that everyone's trying to pitch? And they showed me a picture of their scooter, which is called the Eagle One. Now, there's a lot of powered scooters out there, lots of them. I mean, you can rent them, you can buy them, you can get them at Walmart, you can get them at just about any other store out there that sells stuff like this. The difference is what this one's capable of, and the numbers on this thing are gonna blow you away. So first thing first, as I tear into this box, if you're worried about the packaging, you don't have to, because this thing is pretty much foam wrapped, and it looks like it's probably gonna arrive just about anywhere they ship it perfectly, but let's go ahead and get this thing completely unpacked and out on the ground so we can see what it looks like unboxed. Okay, so before I unbox it any further, it's actually pretty easy to unbox. It looks like you have these three big pieces of foam that kind of surround it. Then you have some more foam on the bottom, but once you get the three big pieces out, you can pretty much slide the rest of the, the scooter itself out. And right off the bat, you can probably tell this ain't your ordinary scooter. All right, so we have it out of the box, laying on the ground, and I can tell you right off the bat, if you judge a product's quality by its weight, this thing is probably built pretty amazingly well because it weighs about 80 pounds. Very, very heavy and definitely more heavy than you would expect a typical scooter to weigh because this is not a typical scooter. And again, this video is sponsored by the folks over at Varla, so big shout out to them sending me something very unique, something that, uh, you know, scares me and thrills me at the same time. I guess just kind of like a, a roller coaster or shark fishing or any of those things, right? So. Very cool to see what this thing looks like once I get it all together. Um, it's kind of folded up. This is how it came out of the box. So I don't know if they have zip ties holding anything together. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's all pretty, you know, ready to get put together. But we're going to go ahead and try to get this thing set up and see what it looks like. What's cool is you have this little base here with a design on it, and they give you two more. Maybe more than that. No, they give you a bunch of them. All sorts of different designs that you can put on here, and I think they're just adhesive, yeah. So you may find one that better suits what your specific style might be and uh, get it on there. We also have a charger here, I believe. Yeah, that's your power supply. This is it's like rubber pegs. I'm guessing these go on some type of a kickstand. We'll find out, an extra tube. And your manual instructions and all that good stuff. Oh, I see it right now. You go right here. They just cover up little hubs right there. So here it is, fully assembled. Now, you have to tighten these little clamps right here to secure this upright post in place. You have to unscrew the stem right here, just like a typical mountain bike or a road bike, and then put your handlebar in and then secure it in place. You have to tighten everything up top here because it's all kind of twisted around and it's all real loose when you first get it. Got a bell. Looks like you have a turbo mode and a single dual mode. It has hydraulic brakes, I believe. They look like hydraulic brakes, but they may not be. Let me see here. I think they are hydraulic brakes. They are, it does have hydraulic disc brakes front and back. So that is super cool. Very, very, very cool. Over here, this appears to be your throttle, and then your power button right here, your keys. And you know what? The cool factor of this thing just went up like tenfold with the inclusion of this, which has an Apache on it, and this American flag. So that is really cool. I will certainly be putting one of these on. Which one do you guys think? To me, that makes it look like 100 times better. So that is really cool. Looks like you have a little prop back there. There is suspension on both the front and back. Very interesting geometry here, how it kind of moves back and forth. The tires themselves, relatively small tires. 
So for me, that would be my biggest concern is just the size of the tire. And if you hit a hole that's too big, you may find yourself playing Superman. But this thing is absolutely cool. Just be careful what you're what you're going over with it and that you're not hitting anything too rutted. Because again, if you if your front tire drops down into a rut, you might launch yourself over, which is never fun. It's not even fun on a bicycle, let alone a scooter. So let's talk a little bit on specs, because I know that's what everyone cares about. First of all, it's considered an all-terrain e-scooter since it has independent front and rear suspension, so that's pretty cool. It has dual motors, so it's got a lot of power. It has a maximum load capacity of 330 pounds, and it also has a maximum range up to 40 miles. So, yeah, you can ride this thing for a while, which is also really nice. And not only can it go up to 40 miles, it actually can go up to 40 miles per hour as well. That is a bit scary. I don't think I would probably ever take this thing beyond 15 miles an hour, maybe 20 miles an hour on a very smooth road. I say that now and then, you know, watch me go faster than that. And one final feature, it has both headlights and taillights on it as well. And the headlights are positioned really far down on here. Your charging port is right on the other side of this as well. Very, very cool. But this thing is absolutely a beast. You know, a while back, I showed you a buddy of mine who has a scooter. It's also an electric scooter. It's actually the same folks who bought our old fifth wheel. And that scooter was like four grand. So to have something that, to me, looks just as capable as that one, and it goes arguably as fast, this is 1699 bucks, And they typically offer some pretty big discounts on their websites. It has a very, very, you know, good quality appearance to it in every sense. From how everything is assembled to the controls, just everything. And it even appears that you can probably upgrade some of the components if you want. Like you could probably throw a different stem on if you wanted. So there are some areas that you could, you know, grow this and kind of expand it in the future if you really wanted to. But very, very cool, a lot to like about it. I really want to give a big shout out to the folks over at Varla for sending this to me for a review and evaluation on my channel and for sponsoring this video with the scooter. So, you know, you sometimes get offered some really cool things and this is definitely one of them. Um, you just got to be careful. Wear a helmet. Don't go too fast over, you know, rutted up areas and uh, just be safe on it. I'm going to take this thing out for a spin and see what it's all about. And I might show you some video footage of that. Okay, first things first, let's take the key off. It's got a little kickstand on the back. Whew, wish me luck on this. It's on. It says 53.5. I have no idea what that means. I'm going to turn the power on. I'll have to read the instructions a little further. Actually, I have to read them, period, because I haven't had a chance to read them at all. Okay, so... Kind of... Well, that's... That is interesting. <laughs> see how this works. It says it's off-road. It's quiet. It's uh, so far handling, you know, that's off-road section pretty dang well, to be honest. It's just a little sketchy because you know how small the tire is and you don't want to have it end up in a rut. Certainly smooth. Okay. I'm gonna try to go up a small hill right here. Oh, <laughs> your, your gut tells you not to go as fast on something like this but then it just seems to handle it really well, which is just not what your brain is telling you, but wow, it's just crazy how well it goes over some of these bumps. You just don't expect it to. That suspension is insane. All right, let's go back down the side here. Whew. 
this thing is crazy. Man, it is so quiet too. All right, so like I told you, I'm not gonna go anywhere near 40 miles per hour on this thing uh, because I value my life. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of folks who will take this thing up to 40 miles an hour, but I can tell you right off the bat, I am blown away by how smooth it is over terrain that's actually pretty rough. Uh, I honestly had a few areas there that I thought that, man, if that front tire drops down, I'm gonna go over it, but it didn't. It actually absorbed it really well. Um, I'm kind of shocked. First time out on it, and it absolutely performed better than I thought it would. It was more comfortable, it was smoother than I thought. Um, you're a bit off the ground, but it is designed to be off-road, so you do stand a bit higher off the ground than you might think with the scooter. And because of that, you, you want to get it going as soon as you hop on, because your center of gravity is going to be kind of high. And if you don't do that, it almost feels like it's going to just tip over. So you definitely want to get on it, get high on it as quickly as you can. Um, very, very cool. It's got a couple modes here, which I did not mess with. And uh, probably need to figure it all out a little bit more but man okay so you have the single or dual motor so that is pretty cool and right now it's on single motor again I'm gonna go up a little hill right here no problem at all and then dual motor I guess is whoa Wow, the front tire is actually peeling out. That's crazy. You can probably hear it. Whoa. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> wow, that is crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah, this thing will bring the kid out in you. And if you're not careful, it will also bring an injury out. But that is super cool. Big thumbs up. Huge shout out to the folks at Varla for allowing me to show you this and sponsoring the video so definitely check them out if you've been looking for an e-scooter or you've been looking for something a bit more uh, capable than an e-scooter because this is certainly it very cool very quiet very you know honestly the quality feels there it doesn't feel flimsy at all and you need that for a scooter because you don't want to feel like you're going to hurt yourself if you're on it i am really blown away especially by the suspension up front and how well it dampens the shock very impressed guys this isn't something that's inexpensive definitely a bit more than you might typically expect to spend on an e-scooter but this is not an ordinary e-scooter anyways i'll definitely be featuring this in more videos whenever the opportunity presents itself this thing is super super cool you got your battery meter you got your speed you have your gear all of that here very very cool guys Link in the description. Also, I think they offer a discount code on their website so you can get a couple hundred bucks off of it. Definitely check it out. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon. I need to put a helmet on.